Hi everyone, come on a journey with me. This is behind the scenes of the Ninja Warrior UK final from season two. We're in Manchester <laughs> for Ninja Warrior UK season two. Hey. hey! And in the semi-finals yesterday, I bashed my finger on the arm rings. <laughs> and <clears throat> finals are tomorrow, so I'm a bit worried. We're going for physio now. I've had this bucket of ice in the hotel room all night, plunging. Three, two, one. Thanks for looking after me, Dan. So I had to get the okay from the physios for my purple finger to be able to run the finals. I'm glad they didn't broadcast this because I look a right wimp. So it looks like I'm okay to run the final. Woohoo! You're not going anywhere, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of work they've been doing on me. Really? <laughs> Is he just like My waspy finger, I had a wasp thing, had tight calves. Tight calves. And now this. Is he just falling apart? Just old. Just old. Attention seeking behaviour. Attention seeking behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs a bit of TLC. Give him a good cuddle, he'll be all right. No, you don't get that in here. <laughs> <laughs> Categorically, you don't get Categorically that shut down. Oh dear. Finalists here for VTs. Yeah, lots of Tim fun. Champion, Toby, Patrick, Gareth, Andre. <laughs> they all crushed it. How are you feeling about tomorrow? <laughs> That's really mean, sorry. <laughs> How are you feeling? Great. I feel so good. <laughs> you feeling good, man? No, no. It's just the uh... first goal. Unstable bridge. Second goal. The top. <laughs> <laughs> Every goal in the middle. All that. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about those. You don't get to test any obstacles on Ninja Warrior, so this is a chance to visualize or panic. That'd be hilarious, can't wait. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, I'm falling on that 100%. <laughs> Getting a swim to the end. <laughs> Might be a DQ. Nah. Do not break enough. It's all right, we've always got this. Oh yeah. Here we go, it's the day of the final. It was actually filmed back in August, as you can tell from the sunshine. All the finalists are here walking around to the back of the studio. Some of them are returning from season one. Some of them are strong new guys. And we're just trying to stay relaxed, which can be pretty difficult on final day. <laughs> Things kick off and loads of people are falling on this obstacle. And those of us yet to run are watching all of this backstage. Paddle boards are taking everyone out. Something like this. So our last competitor to take to stage one. Fastest in his heat, fastest in the semi. Here we go. Nice and balanced through the quintuple steps. I'm happy with that. The pipe slide is a bit scary. No problem. Now the paddle boards. Is it in his mind what's happened to everybody else? Ooh. Yeah, that hurt. So it's all over for me. And I was very shocked at the time. I've never actually been that winded before. Uh, I almost broke a rib. So it was back to the physios for me. And there's the pivotal moment. I was off center and I just followed it down to the left. He always looks so nimble, so confident, but even Tay has been beaten by the paddle boards. I just didn't get to show it. Clearly I was upset, but I've had a long time now to appreciate the bigger picture. In January 2015, the adverts for season one were doing the rounds. At the time I was burnt out from my studies. I was depressed. I'd quit sport for a few months and I was underweight. My girlfriend at the time encouraged me to apply for it, so I hurried to get back in shape. A month later I proposed to her and I told her I'd win the competition for her. So the whole won't marry him until he wins thing wasn't actually totally made up. Since then, I found my love for training again. I've made a whole bunch of new friends and I've reconnected with old friends. Of course, it's always great to succeed, but the real payoff comes from the training that you put in for these competitions with your friends. 
going training together, pushing each other, having a good time. So after filming was finished, I picked myself up, trained harder than ever, and I was lucky enough to do a whole bunch of other competitions. So you know, sometimes you've got to take a fall, but if you keep going and you're training with friends, you're winning in my book. Right, thanks for watching my video guys. Bye! Bye.